Oh man. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, this is 10 minute talk with Terrence. I might be starting a little bit early, but hey, I feel good. I, I got something, man, that was uh, that was shared with me. And uh, and it dropped in my spirit earlier this morning to share this because we have to really, really be careful of um, people uh, and people's opinion of you, you know. And um, actually, my topic is uh, my topic is uh, it's okay to be different. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this. Uh, this is Ten Men Talk with Terrence at ten a.m. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm, I'm totally different. I'm wired different, and that's just the way I am. You know what I'm saying? But I have to. I have to say this though. It is okay to be different. I'm different. Excuse me. And I love being different. I love being. I'm gonna be the best person I know how to be, and that is myself. Amen. You know, people get so caught up in not trying to be different or being this and trying to impress this person, that person, this person. Just stop. Be you. You know, my dad and mom, I, I thank God for them because they taught us to be the best person you want to be, and that's yourself. We're so busy trying to please people. and Stop. Y'all know, I say this every week. Stop trying to please people. That was one of my morning prayer, my scripture, scripture shower this morning. Stop pleasing people. If you're pleasing God, you're pleasing every, you're pleasing yourself. Please yourself. It's called self-love. Amen? We be there for this person, that person, but we're not there for ourselves. You know, you know, you didn't try to help this person, help this person. You didn't help them. You hindered that person. Because some people are just people. But let me say this to you. It's okay to be different. I'm different. I've been counting out all my life. People thinking, people told me I never amount to be nothing. People said I never live to be 25. People said I never do this. I never do that. You know what? Let me tell you something. I've lived the best, best life I could be. I ain't always been perfect, but God saw me through everything I'm doing right now. You know, it's one of the a poem I wrote. I'm about to put on Facebook in a little bit. It's called Transition. You know, it's a book I'm writing this year. Uh, it's called Transition Resilience. You know, basically the topic dealing with my street from the streets to the pulpit, you know, and that book I'm working on, I'm editing as I'm editing this book. You know, I get a few people ask me about it, but it's a lot of, it's a lot, I'm telling you, it's a lot goes into this. You know, people don't understand when you're writing a book, the editing, the, 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 you know, the, what you're going through, what you're dealing with, all that stuff resurfaced, especially when you go back to what you, what you went through coming to be where you are right now, the transitioning, how you had to be resilient. And that's my topic. That's my word. That's what I'm working on right now. Um, and people will say, you know, people count them out, never say I'm out to do this, never do that. But you know what, though? I'm doing a lot of things to be to be who I am, the best person I'm going to be. And I want to leave a legacy. Amen. And I believe I've done so. Amen. Let's start with prayer. Father, we thank you. We praise you. Well. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to, the courage to, to be who we are, who you call us to be. Not what other people think we should be, but what you call us to be. Father, thank for those that are listening right now, that's going to be listening later. Father, touch their hearts and their Probably let them know they have work. Their life matters, Father. And it's okay to be different. Because, God, you called many people. The people you used, God, was un unordinary people to do your task. And still today, people are still dealing with that particular situation, that journey in their life. We ask you be with us. God has strengthened us through this, through this time of 10 minutes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get busy. Let me tell y'all something. It's okay to be different. I'm going to say that all through. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to say that all through. It is okay to be different. Don't let people, what they say about you, talk about you, stop you from being you. You be you. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about a script, this, uh, scripture that popped in my spirit this morning. It said, a, a gift opens the way and ushered the giver into the presence of the great. And that's the NIV version of Proverbs 18, 16. In other words, saying your gift will make room for you. Your gift, it might not be another person's gift. It's not that person's gift. It's your gift that God gave you. So it's okay to be different because that's my gift. That's my life. This is my journey. This is my life. I have to live the best blessed life I can use. Amen. Watch this though. I was reading this and it says, why would it even, why would it even matter if anyone else thought negative towards you? If you're happy with the way you are, then all that should matter. 
Surround yourself with people that make you feel great about yourself, not people who make you want to change. No one else can be who you are. Does that make sense or feeling amazing? Ain't that good? Yes, it is. Watch this. You have the quality that people specifically identify by you. Let me say it again. You have the you have qualities that people specifically identify you by. And other people know that it's you that are they're talking about. You know when people talk about you and they say, Oh, this person, he might, he don't have the right uh, conversation. He don't have the right words and he can't put words in place. And I've been told it all my life. And you know what? I'm going to be me. I might use a word like cat. I might use a word like, man, you know, or you feeling me. And I might not have that right. Uh, how do they say corporate jargon conversation or words? I'm not, in, I'm not, I'm not that person. You're going to get what you get. You know, at the right time, the right setting, you know what? The person that is really, a, that's like-minded, that, that knows something, that wants something, he going to look at you as the way you are. You're not being fake. You're not being phony. You being you. Again, it is okay to be different. I am different. It ain't stopping me. I am blessed. I have been there. I have blessed. I've touched thousands of young men and women through my lifetime, through working in youth ministry, youth development, life coaching. How many people have you touched? How many people are you encouraging? How many people you stop from killing themselves? How many people you stop from suicidal thoughts? How many people you stop from self-harm? How many people you thought? See, we go so busy worrying about what other people think about you. Do you? It's okay to be different. You know, I was listening to a, a Jackie and a, a, my guy, Jackie and Anthony Jones, man. Keep doing what you're doing. That love, learn. I love it, man. I love them. They funny as heck. Me and Jones go way back. And you know, and, you know, I love the topics that they bring out sometimes, you know, and when they bring it out, I'm like, OK, those are real topics. So we need to figure out what, what, what can I do? You know, we got this platform. What can I do to encourage other couples? What can I do to encourage someone? What can I do to encourage our family, our kids, our people, our mentors, our mentees? What can we do to encourage someone in life? That's what life is all about. There's three things I want you to focus on. Three things why it's good. It's okay. It's good and it's okay to be you. Okay. Number one, first off, congratulations. Okay. You are your own person. A lot of people don't have the guts. Watch well, this. A lot of people don't have the, I was going to say some. I don't want to be disrespectful. A lot of people don't have the guts to show their true colors, but you are one special few. So, okay. That's the first thing. Okay. Number two, take it as a compliment. Okay. You are unique. Who wants to be just like everybody else? Not me. I'm good. But let me tell you something. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to be you're the person you ought to be. Don't be shamed for who you are, how you look, this and that. No. Be shamed. Be Take yourself proud. I'm a child of God. I'm a man. I'm a woman. I'm special. I'm valuable. I have worth. Use it. And number three, speaking your mind to the point of everyone else feeling uncomfortable about how blunt and honest you are and not in a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people near, you know, some people need to hear that harsh truth. We don't, I'm telling you, stop doing that. Some people need to hear the truth. You know, if you might want to say a little lighter, you know, it depends, but be led. So I don't want you to hurt nobody's feelings. You feel what I'm saying? Be led, okay? And, and see, here's the thing. <laughs> you don't have to feel restricted and, and hold back anything. Don't ever feel that way, okay? There's nothing to fear. Because you are your own person, okay? Honesty is your best policy. Always remember that. Amen? 2 Corinthians says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. Stop trying to please people that have a secret agenda. And trust me, they do. And some people are there are good to you, but don't mean they're good for you. Remember that, okay? Be who God's called you to be, okay? It's okay to be different. I'm going to say it one more time. It's okay to be different. God is still working for you. Don't you ever give up. Don't you let somebody else tell you you don't have worth. One thing that gets to me when I'm at work, when I hear a kid tell me that their friends don't like them, they want to hurt themselves. Let me tell you something. Stop that, okay? Don't let other people determine your life and your value, Okay? Start loving you, and I guarantee you God will bring the right person that will be with you and grow with you and for you. Amen? Amen? And learn to appreciate yourself. Amen? And stop waiting on others to do it to say, 
I appreciate you. I'm special. You can say it yourself. I'm special. I'm important. I have, I have worth. I have value. My life, my life has meaning and I have a purpose. And if you don't know your purpose, I pray and I ask God that you, God shows you your purpose in life. Amen. And let me tell you something, Jeremiah 29, I said, for, no, for I know the plan. That's God said, I know the plan that I have for you, declare the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. You know, it's funny. A young kid said to me, said that I've accomplished a lot, you know, you know, because I know so many of you, you reached a lot of kids when, you know, you worked at Hilltop, you know, you worked at the residential center, you worked at Jackson County Court, man, you worked at Crenton, you worked at all these places. Now you're in Overland Park in Maryland. He said, man, you 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 really touched a lot of kids, man. I said, let me tell you something. But you know what you know what bothers me? What I struggle with, a lot of people don't know, and I'm gonna tell you. I struggle with the one that I did, the kid that, that I left that I didn't touch. See, it's always more. Sometimes God wants us to go deeper into what he called us to be. We settle for less. I'm not settling for less. I'm not finished. I'm just begun. Amen. So when that book come out, it's going to be awesome. I'm praying that God's going to touch the people who read it. I'm praying that God touch. I'm not trying to do all this and that, but hey, God, whatever God has for me, it is for me. And I'm going to be ready to be to do what I need to do. Because let me tell you something. It ain't about them. It's about me. It's about God. We got to refocus, re resurface that thing. Stop worrying about people. Focus on God. Learn to appreciate yourself. Love yourself. You know, we were talking about, I was telling uh, Pastor Rudy, uh, preached this, uh, this Sunday, and he was talking about he just being him. You know, and I said to him, I whispered him, I said, I said, bro, I said, thank you for being you. Because he's comical, but he's a good teacher. You know, Pastor Eric, it took him a while. You know, he gets there, you know, and support my guy, Sire Transportation, amen, C-I-R-E, amen. And, you know, Pastor Eric, you know, everything he touched, man, it just turns to gold. And I love that man because that man was there for me. You know, you never forget the people who's there for you, who've helped you, who support you. Amen. I thank God for everybody who tune in. Man, I see Tanya, I see Sister Farmer, my family, man, everybody else. I'm going to tell you right now, if I miss you, please don't hold it to my heart. Please just understand something. Let me tell y'all something. Man, hey, this is serious business out here. It's okay to be different. Be different. Be that special person. Be that different person. Because sometimes somebody needs it right now. Somebody, somebody needs to see you being you. Amen. God bless you. I love you. This is Tim and Talk with Terrence. We're going to breathe real quick. Is that all right? All right. We're going to breathe in. This is called casting them cares. You know, we're going to breathe in and breathe out. And I always got to do three. One for the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's just how I roll. And let go and let God. I guarantee you, it's okay to be different. Stop trying to do I'm not being like everybody else. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be who God called me to be. Amen. God bless you. I love you. This is 10 Men Talk with Terrence at 10 a.m. Every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Chime in. Send your messages and your text, man. I love y'all. Y'all, y'all funny, man. Send me some letters. Let me know some questions, anything, any topic you want to deal with, okay? And always remember, you're as close to God as you choose to be. Because it ain't how you fall, baby. It's how you get back up and stay up. God bless you. This is Tim and Talk with Terrence. Peace out. Love you.